Hi guys, welcome to another recap. Today I'm gonna recap a romantic comedy film, named, The Hating Game. The movie follows the story of Lucy and Josh, two colleagues who are working together after the merger of their respective publishing companies, Gammon Publishing and Bexley Books. Lucy is a hard-working and meticulous employee, always trying to impress her boss. While Josh is a charming and laid-back employee who doesn't take things too seriously. Because of their opposite personalities and completely different work styles, they both have a deep-seated hatred for each other, which they show through constant bickering and pranks, and their long-standing rivalry is apparent to everyone in the office. They are both up for the same promotion to a new position of managing director of the company. Realizing that one will not be willing to work under the other, they make a bet that whoever gets the promotion, the other will have to quit the job. But behind the scene, their rivalry is complicated by their growing attraction to each other, which tends them to become a couple in the end. The movie starts with Lucy and Josh arriving at work in the same office, and Josh is playing copycat with Lucy, just to tease her. But Lucy ignores it and carries on with her work, while she speaks in her mind that hating someone almost feels like loving them. She says she has several reasons to hate Josh, which are, he is cold-hearted and a control freak at the work, he is so ruthless that he fired a number of employees from Lucy's company, including her friends, and he always points out any tiny mistakes Lucy makes in her work. That's why she hates him and thinks Josh is her nemesis. One day in a meeting, their bosses announce a new position of managing director to oversee all the departments. Both Lucy and Josh become excited about this job and decide to be a candidate. They both claim they will win the job, and each says they will apply strict rules to the other after becoming the boss. But finally, they decide if one of them gets the job, the other has to quit. Lucy dislikes the way of publishing by Bexley Books which is Josh's company, but she has to do as they tell her. In the evening, when they are about to leave, the HR manager tells them she got four complaints about them in a week, and they both put the blame on the other. At night, when Lucy is sleeping, she has an erotic dream about Josh, and she gets shocked by that. The next day, she comes to the office wearing a little dress with high heels, to impress Josh. He asks her if she has a date tonight, and she lies that she does. Then she asks a co-worker friend Danny to go with her, so she can pretend she has a date with him. In the evening when they leave the office, in the elevator Josh asks her if she needs a ride because it's raining outside. Lucy refuses and passes some offensive comments. Josh stops the elevator and asks her if she really hates him. But Lucy kisses him, and so does Josh. After sharing a kiss, Josh drops Lucy at a restaurant where she has arranged a fake date with Danny. When Josh comes there, she tells him that she believes he somehow tricked her mind to kiss him, it wasn't any serious. She asks him to leave her and Josh goes back. The next day, Josh sends her the roses, but Lucy thinks they are from Danny. When they are at the office, they try to ignore their romance of last evening, and they agree not to talk about it again. A few days later, they arrange a paintball game, organized as a team-building event between the employees of both companies. Josh sees that Lucy seems to be suffering from a fever, and asks her not to participate in this activity, but she doesn't care about it, and participates. While playing, they also try to defeat the other in the game, even though they are on the same team. But Lucy collapses because of the fever, and Josh brings her back home. He calls on his brother Patrick, who is a physician, to have her checked by him. His brother writes a prescription for Lucy, and asks Josh why he didn't reply to his marriage invitation. And Josh says he was busy at work. His brother asks him to bring a plus one to his wedding, and Josh agrees, while Lucy is hearing all this from her bedroom. Josh tells Lucy that his family is all doctors and surgeons except him. The next morning, Josh is cleaning her apartment when Lucy wakes up. He tells her that his brother left a prescription for her, and he leaves. When Lucy gets to the office, she sees a rose lying on her table with a note. Now she comes to know that it was also Josh who sent her roses the other day. She tries to say thanks to him, but Josh says there's no need. She says he helped her and she owes him, she can help him the same way if he needs, and she can even go with him to his brother's wedding. Josh asks her how she knows about that, and she says she heard him while he was talking to his brother. Then she pushes him into a storeroom, and asks him to kiss her. But Josh refuses and asks her to sort out things first with Danny. He says if Danny is better than him, then it's okay, otherwise she'll have to admit that nobody kisses her as Josh does, and he goes out. At night, Lucy goes to dinner with Danny and kisses him, but she doesn't like that. On her way back, she goes to Josh's house and tells him that he was right. She admits that nobody kisses her like Josh. So Josh kisses her again and takes her inside the house. Josh tells Lucy that he spent two semesters in medical school, but he was not able to become a doctor. 
Lucy gets to his bedroom and asks him to get it on, to release their sexual tension. But Josh refuses her offer because he thinks she's still playing some kind of game. He says to her that it's unwise to sleep with someone whom he is competing with. Lucy gets indignant, she leaves his apartment and goes to her home. The following day when they meet in the office, Josh asks her if she's feeling good, and she replies she didn't sleep well. Meanwhile, his boss comes there and takes him away. One day while Lucy is decorating her Christmas tree, Josh comes to her home to pick her up to go to his brother's wedding. But Lucy doesn't seem to go with him, and Josh says sorry for that night, he wasn't prepared for it. But Lucy still seems stubborn, so Josh tells her she owes him a favor, because he helped her when she was ill. And Lucy unwillingly agrees to go. When they are going their way, Lucy asks Josh about his family, and he tells her a little bit about his parents. When they reach the hotel venue, Josh tells the receptionist that he has booked two rooms. But the receptionist says he only has one room left. Josh asks him to do something, but Lucy says it's okay, they will share one room. When they come into the room, Josh asks her to take a shower because they have to attend the rehearsal dinner after half an hour. When they are getting ready for the rehearsal dinner, they come closer to each other and end up intimating. Lucy says it's the best game they have played. Then she reminds Josh that they are getting late for dinner, and his family will dislike it, but Josh says nobody will care about it, and he asks her to stay there. He tells her that he always wanted to kiss her, when they were busy playing the game of hating each other. Lucy also reveals to him about the day when she lied to him about going on a date, and one night before, she had an excited dream about Josh. They both become surprisingly happy to find out about their secret love for each other. On the next day, they join the marriage ceremony. Josh's mother welcomes them, and she praises Lucy's beauty. After the ring ceremony, Lucy meets Patrick's wife. She tells Lucy that she was Josh's girlfriend before, but they broke up and then she hooked up with his brother Patrick. And finally, they're getting married now. Lucy gets shocked at first until Josh explains to her that he was embarrassed to tell Lucy about his breakup. But Lucy says he shouldn't be embarrassed, he did nothing wrong. Josh tells her that his brother was always the favorite child of his dad, and Josh was never treated like him. Lucy sympathizes with him and asks him to have a drink. Lucy witnesses that Josh's dad doesn't speak well with him, because he could not become a doctor. Josh's mother tells Lucy it was so good of her to come into Josh's life, he was a bit broken after his ex-girlfriend left him. Then Patrick comes there and informs his mother that his dad is scolding Josh. Lucy observes that Josh's father doesn't give any importance to him because he works for a publishing company, and his father thinks it's not a great job. Lucy stands up for Josh and tells his father that Josh is the most important person in their company. In fact, Josh runs the company himself because the CEO is all dependent on him. She tells him his son is amazing, but he cannot see that. Her talks impress Josh and make his dad silent. Then they both leave the party and head toward their homes. When they are driving their way, Lucy tells him she thought he really hated her, but Josh says he never hated her, not for a single moment and he can prove this. When they get to Josh's house, Josh tells Lucy that he painted his bedroom matching the colors of Lucy's eyes, because he loves her. Lucy says she is not ready for this, they are on a bet about the job, and their relationship will be over when one will quit after the other gets the job. But Josh says nobody will have to quit, he tells her she doesn't have to be scared and be with him. They should start a real relationship and forget about the bet. The next day when they return to work, Lucy overhears the conversation between Josh and his boss, who asks him to beat Lucy and become the managing director. Lucy misinterprets their conversation and concludes that Josh is using their romance to distract her from promotion. She becomes disappointed and goes to meet Danny at a coffee shop, and tells her about all this drama between her and Josh. She says he seemed so sincere to her, but he was just playing with her. Then she decides that she will defeat Josh at any cost, and starts preparing hard for the interview and the presentation. When she gives the presentation to the hiring panel, she impresses them with her new publishing idea. She tells her boss that she nailed the presentation, because all this excitement about the job made her stronger. When she comes to the conference room, she hears that she's been selected as managing director. She finds out that Josh has already resigned from the company a week ago, and he got a job in another publishing company. Lucy asks him why he didn't tell her, he says he wanted her to win this job, and it was easy for her when she is in a fight with Josh, because it drives her to work hard and surpass Josh. They again share a kiss and become a couple. In the end, Lucy realizes loving someone and hating are not the same, as she thought. She meets Josh in the street and tells him that she wants him to keep on fighting with her, and the movie ends in this scene. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like the video, and make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. 
to never miss upcoming interesting videos like this. Thanks again.